All right. I'm doing these back to back to back. So if you see the same shirt, you know, it's an old Funko, incredible Conan from Conan O'Brien. Uh, really wish he'd come back. I think he's doing, I don't know what the hell he's doing. Next box is from Valiverse. Let me explain this to you. Bobby Valla is a former, um, I think Mattel. He used to do a lot of um, Marvel Legends figures. And he went his own way, and he created Valiverse. Valiverse, uh, he worked on bringing back Action Force, which was a UK G.I. Joe-inspired line of action figures and things like that. But he's not doing a little three and, a, three, and three, three quarters. He's doing the full six-inch, seven-inch figures. I met Bobby a couple years ago at Joe Fest in Augusta, Georgia. And um, awesome guy. Awesome guy. Talk to him. Talk to the, some of the people he works with. And one of the best things about him, aside from just being personable, I mean, he'll talk to you. This is Bobby's life work. He's been working on this for years. The box I'm about to unbox is two figures from the second wave. I missed the first wave on the website. So I ordered from Big Time Collectibles. No, 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 no. That's comics. Big, t uh, Big Bad Toys. BB, whatever the hell it is. I think it's Big Bag Toys. But I like Big Bag Toys because they're like Amazon. They don't um, bill you or take the money out until they ship. I'm actually receiving my stuff from Bobby's second line before I would leave, received anything from Big Time. God damn. Big Bad Toy Store. Toy Shop. Whatever the hell it is. <clears throat> One of the greatest things about Bobby is that who he got to help endorse him from, I mean, I don't want to say day one, but he got Sergeant Slaughter, G.I. Joe Wrestling, Hall of Famer, Legends, and what you just heard, I just took my knife and just, yeah, I'll be trying to see my address here, just pop that, packing list, so, from the second line, he had two waves. He had an A wave and a B wave. Both these figures from the A wave. Let's get into it. What do we got here? What do we got here? Please read before you open or use. Okay. So we know that sometimes these figures are not the uh, most cooperative. They get stiff. People like to boil them. Line two, Sergeant Slaughter. Now, however, Sergeant Slaughter will not be able to be at Joe Fest this year, so this box will not be getting signed. I have to save it for next year. Sarge is a tank top in this one. In the first wave, he had the uh, BDU uh, long sleeves. He comes with his cap. He comes with the Marines. He comes with... Uh, I don't want to get these weapons wrong because a lot of the people that are fans of Action Force and Bobby and all these other figures know these weapons precisely. And I do not want to insult them or make myself look like an idiot. Everything is per scale. The detail on this stuff, I'm an inbox collector, so yeah, this is not coming out. They all fit in the holsters. You see, uh, where did this holster go? Holster right there. We'll fit that gun. He'll be able to hold on his little cannon there. Let's look at the other side. Let's look at the back. Roll out, trigger, Sarge. I'm not going to show the last one right here. This one? Oh, I just showed it. But, like file card. Bam, bam, bam. What they did is they basically took the Action Force and updated it for the new generation. So, I said I ordered two. Here's the other one. Duster. Duster is based on, if anybody can recognize him, Tim Kennedy, former, I don't want to get his stats wrong, but I believe he was a Green Beret, sniper, MMA fighter. Tim Kennedy uh, is now a part of Action Force. During Joe Fest last year, Bobby showed a video of him and Tim, and I was able to actually win 
a promo piece signed by Tim Kennedy. There we go. Tim Kennedy. Blah, blah, blah. You can all read all that. So, it'd be cool if Tim actually came out to Joe Fest one year with Bobby and Sarge. I would love to get this signed. If I do find that other piece that I have signed by him, I'll take pictures and post them on my Instagram. So, thank you, Bobby Valla. Thank you, Vallaverse. Like I said, I am an inbox collector, so these fine pieces will be collecting dust and just looking beautiful. If anybody else, if you've seen any of my other videos in the past, <laughs> me looking like this, you understand I've had a long week. And uh, anybody else collect G.I. Joe's? Uh, anybody else heard of Bobby Valla? Um, anybody else have Action Force figures? I only picked up these two. Let's get back to the back real quick once again. Now, roll out and trigger. The other thing I forgot to mention is Bobby actually made a card, yeah, comic series for this. It's available on his website, valiverse.com. I don't think any comic shops actually sell it. I think there's only five or six issues so far. Great story. The Scarabs and the Garrison Calvary. And again, like I said, these are from Wave 2. As you can see, 2 of 5, 2 of 6... Wave and figure number. I'm going to ask this on every video. Please like. Um, if you're into this kind of stuff, subscribe. I'll start posting more action figures. I just picked up a few of the um, Todd McFarlane DC over this past week. I got um, Black Adam, Green Lantern, John Stewart from Endless Winter. I'm going to end up getting the Batman and Wonder Woman to create uh, the... Frost King. I picked up General Zod, and today I just picked up... Oh! Uh, Power Suit Lex Luthor. I made a deal with a friend of mine. Uh, he actually picked up the chase of General Zod. I'll be meeting him over the weekend, and I will be purchasing that chase Zod from him. So, if you watch this, appreciate y'all. You know, and uh, everybody says it. Like, comment, subscribe. Let me know how shit of a job I'm doing and um, check out some of my other videos. I do a lot of unboxing, most of it's comic stuff, etc., etc. And um, appreciate y'all. Later.